All right, it's Saturday, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good today. I missed my doctor's appointment on on Friday. Uh, well, actually, it, we couldn't do it on Wednesday, so I ended up uh, making the appointment for Friday. Friday was a powerful snowstorm came through and the appointment was at 3.30 in the afternoon um, almost uh, 60 miles from home and uh, by the time we'd get done at the doctor's office uh, we'd be driving back in a snowstorm through a dark canyon and over a dark pass and I decided that uh, it would not be safe to do that um, so I called the uh, doctor and they rescheduled me for Wednesday of this coming week at noon, which will work out fine because coming back will be in the dark, in the light instead of in the dark. If it's snowing, we'll just ha hack it, you know. But today I'm going to work on uh, Terry Connor again. I know it's getting tiresome watching me work on this. Uh, bust but that's what sculpting is is uh, one step at a time and one day at a time and sometimes it gets dang boring but uh, I'm excited because I want to get this thing done and I just got a couple of things I got to do on it to uh, uh, bring it to a finished point I'm only going to use one camera today only because I just don't feel like messing with two cameras it, it takes a lot to uh, sync the cameras and and oh, it's just a pain in the wazoo. So anyway, I'm going to work on the side of his head here and here. I need to bring it out just a little bit because I had to extend his forehead out just a little bit. And I think I might work on the, uh, the bill of the hat a little bit too. So let's get busy and see what happens. Okay, I drew out a template for the uh, the hat's brim, and I took the current hat brim and traced it, and then uh, increased the width a little bit. And I'm going to use that to make a new brim. That looks better. But it's going to be different because I'm going to bring out his uh, temples just a little bit because they're a little too narrow. So let's go ahead and do that. Boy, it's nice to be able to see again. It really is. For all of you young people out there who don't appreciate the sight you do have. I'm just telling you right now, it's delicate. And uh, you need to take care of your eyes always and always get them checked. Because you never know when you can lose your sight. A lot of people today don't believe in God, but I'll tell you, our bodies are so well designed, it's just beyond imagination. The absolute genius of creation. That's all the things that go into making an eye work is just mind boggling. And, uh, I'll be gone in a second. Sounds like the neighbor's cutting firewood again. It's in the 20s outside. Okay. Boy, it's nice not having to wear those magnifiers right now. Wow. 
my right eye, as I've told you in the past, was uh, pretty well blinded by an overgrowth of veins in the gel of my eye because of a hemorrhage that I had in my eye back in uh, March or April. can't remember exactly when. And because of that, the uh, I, the uh, veins were blocking my vision to the retina. And uh, so it was uh, pretty sketchy. That looks much better. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put clay on the surface of uh, this uh, piece of uh, photo paper and uh, we'll get this to work out. I'm going to use this uh, photo paper like uh, a uh, armature. will hold its shape and uh, will give it strength so that uh, the bill of the hat will work. Blessing to be able to see again. I mean, it's not perfect, but oh man, it's so much easier to see now than it was before. There we go. I'm going to just uh, even out the uh, bill. This may be too thin. I just gotta blend uh, the hat to the uh, brim of the hat or the bill of the hat and just take out any there we go now this wrinkle here is going well past the outside of his skull, so you don't want to have that. Uh, you don't want wrinkles cutting into the head. Uh, you always got to be careful of things like that. And because I've brought the, uh, the temple of the head out a little bit, this wrinkle has gotten deeper. Not so deep that it cuts into the skull of his head. There we go. I'm happy with this. It's a short video today because that's all I was going to do today was just uh, work on the bill of the hat and the temples of his head to uh, bring him out just a little bit. edge of the thing to finish it off a little bit. You see how using something like photo paper can add a little strength to the clay. The, the old bill 
didn't have uh, that paper in it, so it uh, wasn't as strong as this one is, and it's not as clunky as the old Zillow hat. That looks good, and looks uh, more like in the photographs of uh, Terry. So that's uh, going to be it. Uh, Todd is working on some paintings this weekend. He's got a deadline for an art show he's doing. And he's got a bunch of paintings he's got to get done so he can get them to the art show. So he won't be coming today, but uh, he will be coming next week sometime before I go to the doctor's. Yeah, Todd said that uh, maybe we ought to do a portrait of him while he's still alive. And uh, I thought maybe I better do one of me while I'm still alive because we never know. I mean, I'm 73 now. It could happen tomorrow. You never know. Life is not guaranteed. Well, good night, everybody, and uh, see you next week, maybe. I'll let you know what's going on. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.